I can't believe it. I'm watching the X Factor on Saturday night, and suddenly they tell me uh, they're going to have Sunday nights as well. Now, I can't do that. I mean, I couldn't take that much X Factor. I mean, it's beginning to annoy me. The biggest annoyance of all, because I watched Saturday Night Show in two bits, really. I watched most of it. I uh, haven't taped it on my Skybox. And then I said, I'll watch the last five minutes at, on Sunday. Oh, my God. Uh, this uh, guy comes on. It's the usual tearful stuff. It's my mum. I've been in the foster home. Kelly is in floods of tears. Can the guy sing? Of course he can sing. But there was no need to have all the tears and everything. This is fake. Not the kid. I don't doubt for a moment, you know, that he was in a foster home or this is his mum or everything else. But this is what the show is about. The show is about tugging at your heartstrings. Every week now, we've got a mum or a grandmother and we got floods of tears. It's become stereotyped because it's not real. Then Kelly, who increasingly I dislike, um, there's a group of four. Three are rubbish and one of them isn't bad. So naturally, as a group, they get a thumbs down. Then, extraordinarily, Kelly says to this other girl, come back uh, and do it on your own. First of all, essentially breaking the rules of the competition. But secondly and more importantly, put yourself backstage for a moment here. Backstage, you have the other three singers, their mothers, their fathers, their brothers, their sisters, their boyfriends and girlfriends and everything, who are looking at one person getting preferential treatment. Then Kelly goes backstage and says, if you don't do this, you'll never forgive yourself. Your friends will understand. Well, I've news for you, Kelly. They won't understand. And, and I mean, it's quite possible none of these people are ever going to talk to her again. I thought it was just plain downright wrong. If this kid was going to be the next Barbara Streisand, it was worth the risk. But she's not going to win this competition. She's just not that good. And again, it is fake. Was it all fake this week? No. No, no, no. What makes me watch this program is there's this fairly large girl, black hair, wearing a funny hat, and she's got a funny arm. She's got, she's got a muscular problem on her left arm, but she waves at, at the audience. And, you, and she says, I'm a barmaid and I'm thick. And then she opens her mouth and she has the voice of an angel. She was just super. Now that is why I watch The X Factor. Because this is a woman who could make it. Like my pal Johnny from the very first one. These are voices that could really make it. Most, Even the ones who get yes on The X Factor, it's all created to, to just do a TV program. But sometimes there are real jewels. And by God was the barmaid a jewel. By the way, why would they allow a 50-year-old woman to make a fool of herself on the show? And that's more X Factor for you. We can make a fool of people for your entertainment. That's why I hate it and why I love it. I hate it the way they treat people. And I love it for the talent they discover.